Hey everyone, you know we all know the president of a country is one of the most important figures in the world and is responsible for millions of citizens. So as a result, presidential security is a top priority for governments around the globe. So for today's video, I'm going to explore 15 of the most impressive presidential security tactics. Number 15. Presidential Poison Testers well, kicking things off is one of the sillier entries on this list, but it's no less important. Believe it or not, assassination attempts by poisoning are still a very real threat. And while the form of murder may come off as rudimentary, the countermeasure against it is just as medieval. The US president has a number of food testers and tasters whose sole job it is to make sure that nothing nefarious was slipped into their meals during preparation. It sounds pretty crazy, but with the amount of food entering the White House each and every day, you just can't be too careful. Not only are these staff members testing for poison, but if for some reason they receive a bad batch of groceries, they'll be the first to know, allowing the president to stave off any foodborne illnesses that will keep them out of the Oval Office. And if you don't believe me, just check out the report from 2013 that stated Barack Obama refused to eat dinner at a White House event because his food tester wasn't there. Even before the ingredients make it into the pan, the Secret Service is making sure that no one is tampering with the food, and of course, every single White House chef is heavily vetted before they get the job. And so if anything nefarious does make it into the president's meal, the taste tester will be the first to know, and the White House medical staff will probably be the second. Number 14. The North Korean Main Office of Adjutants Kim Jong-un is without a doubt a controversial figure, but he's got a convoy with him just about everywhere he goes, and it's worth a mention on this list nonetheless. Especially considering his motorcade is the most unique, and while it's highly unlikely that anyone would ever make an attempt on the leader of North Korea, he's still got to have security. Kim Jong-un's black limousine sports the nation's flag and allegedly even houses a private toilet. But that's not what makes his security details so unique. He's surrounded by what's known as the main office of adjutants, men in black suits and in great shape who jog around the limo. Plain and simple, they surround and jog next to his limo as if acting like a human shield. They've been hand-picked by the leader, not just for their fitness, but for their marksmanship, martial arts skills, and yes, even looks. Recruits tend to come from the elite North Korean families, but the premier will run background checks that will go two families back on the young hopefuls. In the end, there are about two to three hundred members of the main office of adjutants, but only twelve get to act as human shields in his unorthodox convoy. Number 13. Vladimir Putin's Motorcade all right, even though he may have fewer vehicles in his convoy, Vladimir Putin's motorcade is one of the more expensive. But because there aren't as many cars accompanying him doesn't mean it's any less impressive. Putin rides around in a custom-built automobile, the Aura Senate. It was designed specifically for the president by the engineering teams at Porsche and Central Scientific Research Automobile and Automotive Engines Institute, or NAMI for short. The Aura Senate weighs in at a whopping 6 tons, and it's an insane 23 feet long. Yet there's plenty of room for Putin, his friends, colleagues, and of course personal bodyguards and a Russian secret service, and maybe even an animal or two. The car is equipped with an extensive amount of security features, which, unfortunately for the rest of us, the Russian government keeps a tightly guarded secret. The Senate is powered by a 4.4-liter V8 engine and can serve as an off-road vehicle if the need arises and cost about 10 million bucks. Yeah, you can pretty much get a mansion for that amount. But Putin's convoy also consists of three Mercedes G-Class, which is a luxury SUV that can handle any type of terrain and has a top speed of 137 miles an hour. It's the perfect car for a presidential pursuit, and each vehicle on its own costs over $140,000. Finally, there's the police detail of just six motorcycles to clear the road and monitor the crowds. It may not be the most elaborate convoy in the world, but the cars are definitely fit enough for a Fast and Furious cameo. Number 12. Cat Not to be confused with our furry feline friends, Cat stands for Counter Assault Team. Oftentimes, when we think of the US Secret Service, we think of those stoic men and women in suits and sunglasses equipped with earpieces and communication devices in their sleeves. And while that stereotype may be true in some cases, the Secret Service's cat division is a lot less incognito. Any immediate threat to the president's safety is a top priority, and cat is the first on the scene with a full arsenal of weapons and intelligence whenever necessary. 
These agents will do everything from employ counter-sniper unit scans of an area for hidden threats to engage with threats directly, laying down a barrage of suppressive fire while the rest of the team gets POTUS out of that situation. So, while the counter-assault team may not be a private army, it's as close as they're gonna get. Being assigned to the elite counter-assault team is next to impossible, as only 10% of those who go through the strict application process are accepted. They're tough, strong, strike fast, and firm, and have been trained to use heavy weaponry under the harshest of conditions. The CAT team designated for full-time presidential escort duty is given the call sign Hawkeye, which will be followed by the President's Secret Service code names, with Obama's detail being known as Hawkeye Renegade and Trump's Hawkeye Mogul. And so the next time you witness the American president's motorcade driving down Pennsylvania Avenue, you can rest assured that Hawkeye is in one of the black vans in the region. Number 11. The POTUS Doomsday Fleet while Air Force One may be synonymous with the American president and the title of a solid Harrison Ford movie, it's just one of many aircraft in the presidential fleet. Yep, there's Air Force Two, which carries the vice president, but then there's the whole other fleet that the Air Force tries to keep out of sight from the public. The United States has been building and equipping a special set of planes since the 1960s whose sole purpose has been to evacuate the president in the event of a nuclear attack and command the war from wherever they are. And while these aircraft may not be a total secret, they're rarely ever mentioned, and the Air Force has never publicly acknowledged owning them, even though they're just a phone call away on the President's bright red telephone. But plenty of people have sifted through years of information, declassified records, interviews, and historical documents to put together the secret of the secret fleet. And while Air Force One is simply a call sign for any aircraft carrying the President, the typical behemoth Boeing models aren't the only plane in the fleet. There are multiple helicopters and Gulf Streams that former presidents have been known to use, and they'll even send multiples of the same models as decoys, so you'll never know which one the president is in. And then there's the air support that can be called in in just a matter of minutes, with one of the more well-known instances being directly after September 11th, when President George W. Bush's Air Force One was quickly flanked by escorting F-16 Fighting Falcons. Number 10. 10-Minute Medicine while there are thousands of Secret Service agents working for the United States government, only a select few can work for the Presidential Protection Division, and those select few are all trained in something called 10-minute medicine. This means they can do everything humanly possible to keep the President alive until they can receive specialized medical attention in the event of an emergency. This means that when they travel, they're never more than 10 miles away from a trauma center and an agent will be posted at the hospital who knows the operating room staff. But to play it safe, the group traveling with the president will have multiple bags of blood ready for transfusion should the need arise. It may sound a little silly, but this sort of training was given shortly after an assassination attempt was made on Ronald Reagan in 1981. Reagan was shot, and while the plan was to bring him home to the White House, he was suffering from internal bleeding of the lungs. They rerouted Reagan to the hospital where he underwent life-saving surgery for the next several hours, and chances are he wouldn't have survived that initial ride home. Number 9. White House Surface-to-Air Missiles as you can probably imagine, Washington, D.C. is a big-time no-fly zone. If too many planes are flying over the White House, then it's way too easy for a bad apple to fall through the cracks, so it's best to keep those skies clear. The closest major airport is the Ronald Reagan National Airport in Virginia, and any plane not scheduled to land there or that's following a very strict trajectory is given a pretty nasty warning sign. But this isn't baseball, meaning there are no three strikes in your out rule. It's just one warning. Anyone who doesn't show immediate compliance is a goner, courtesy of the White House's surface-to-air missiles. And it's not just one lone defense system, either. It's a whole slew of them placed all around the compound. It doesn't matter what angle the plane is coming from, because there's a fresh missile with their name on it at every turn. Obviously, the general public isn't really privy to the exact locations, but rumors have been circulating for years about the high-tech Avenger missile defense system on the roof of the White House itself. And while we can never know if that's true, one thing we do know for sure is that there are plenty of laser systems that detect any possible airborne threats up to a mile out that alert the necessary air defense systems. Number 8. Sistema of course, all members of the U.S. Secret Service are highly trained in weapons use, having deadly accuracy with firearms like the Remington 870 shotguns, FNP-90 machine guns, the Heckler & Koch MP5, and various other pistols. But what about those moments in close or crowded quarters? Because guns can't always solve everything. That's why the Secret Service is all trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat, specifically Sistema. 
Sistema is a brutal yet calculated Russian martial art which is used by the Spetsnaz and KGB as well. It simply translates to the system in English. Sistema is unlike most other martial arts. It abandons things like katas, gis, and tournaments and adopts an anything-goes mentality. Sistema involves controlling the attacker's levers, arms, legs, and elbows, giving the user the supreme upper hand as they bend their opponent's appendages in ways that nature never intended. Not only that, but the Russian martial art is also involving defense against weapons and weapon disarmament. So if someone comes at a Secret Service member with a gun and all they have is their hands, the agent can likely disarm the assailant, quickly bring them to the ground, gain and maintain control, and start breaking bones. No, it's not pretty, and people trained in Sistema are trained to deal with multiple attackers at once. But like so many other martial arts, Sistema trains the practitioner to remain calm, cool, and collected under pressure to stay safe and win the fight. For many people, Secret Service included, it can be a way of life. But don't let the chill factor fool you, because Sistema, while the goal of Sistema is to disarm, can be easily used to maim and kill. Number 7. Russia's Secret Service Vladimir Putin has had a very large target on his back for some time now, and the larger the target, the tighter the security. Being one of the most prominent and controversial figures in recent history comes with a lot of consequences. Some are good, and others are bad. Putin has an incredibly serious security force surrounding him at all times, many of which are hidden in the shadows, others in plain sight, and some are sitting in the office behind a computer. But no matter where they're stationed, they all have an integral role to play in the man's protection. His version of the Secret Service, Putin's security is housed with the Federal Protective Service, or the FSO. The FSO is a successor of the KGB, the latter of which is Putin's former employer. And while it's widely known that the KGB takes care of supervising top-level government communications, overseeing and maintaining command centers, and providing security for government officials, not much is really known about how the FSO operates. And in this age of information, data, and cybersecurity breaches, that is an impressive feat. Rumors regarding the FSO's tactics abound, with the most popular being their use of a body double for Putin's riskier publicity stunts. So all of those photos of Putin at the helm of a fighter jet? Well, if the rumors are true, that's a look-alike. I guess crazier things have been true. The FSO also takes care of other assets that has near-supreme authority to perform operational and investigative activities like wiretapping, reading citizens' correspondence over various forms of communication, and will confiscate property, search and sweep homes, and detain people at will. Essentially, they can do whatever they want, when they want, moving about relatively unchecked. It's even been said that in 2018, Putin extended his FSO privileges to allow them to operate in cyberspace. But one of their more favorite, if not most controversial tactics, compromat, a practice involving less than honorable means to gain damaging information on their subjects, typically politicians and business people, to use for blackmail, extortion, and monetary gain. Number 6. The Pontifical Swiss Guard People are gonna always love the Pope. It's just a fact of life. So while he's not quite a president, the Vatican employs pretty impressive tactics to keep him safe and sound. Pope Francis is the Bishop of Rome and the head of the Catholic Church, but he could also be considered a world leader, as well as seeing as how the Vatican functions like its own small country. And when he goes outside to bless his holy masses, not even the angels are enough to protect him. He needs some down-to-earth help. For starters, Vatican City is one of the most armored cities in the world, but their first line of defense, should things get hairy, is the Pontifical Swiss Guard, a group of armed forces and honor guards overseen by none other than the Holy Seed. And while the Pontifical Swiss Guard is never going to invade a country, you can think of them as the Pope's personal army, because they are armed and very, very dangerous. But they're nothing new. The Guard's history reaches back to the year 1506, when they were put together under the order of Pope Julius II, making them one of the oldest operating military units in history. They've undergone a lot of change since then, having started out as armor-clad men wielding spears, but today they're made up of some of the Swiss military's best and brightest. If you want to storm the Vatican and get to the Pope, then you're going to have to go through the Pontifical Swiss Guard first. Good luck with that. Number 5. White House Air Filtration System Having a poison tester isn't the only way an American president can stave off intense illness or even death. Air circulation is important, and seeing as how opening up the windows defeats the purpose of bulletproof glass, the White House needs a good air filtration system. 
It may sound a bit silly, but the necessity for fresh, clean air is all too important. Think of how many people live and work in the White House. Now add that to all of the visitors who come through the doors each day. Now just imagine if one of them were sick with the flu or something even worse. It's all too easy for sickness and disease to spread in a dense environment and eventually find their way to the person at the top. And once that happens, it's all over. That's why the White House has a state-of-the-art air filtration system. It's so important because not all threats are going to be seen. Number 4. Royal Protection Squad It's good to be the king, but that doesn't mean you can roam the streets by yourself. While his position may be more symbolic, King Charles III of England is one of the most secure sovereign leaders in the world. For starters, he's got the King's Guard, who are incredibly hard to miss with their red coats and tall black furry hats that cover the eyes, giving them the impression of being a faceless man. And when you can't see someone's face, it makes them all the more intimidating. And those rifles they carry around? Yeah, despite what you may have heard, they are very real and they'll use them if they're forced to. And so while the king has his famed stoic guards, his most important security team is the Royal Protection Squad. It's also known as the Storlin York Elite Squad. These people are a little less ceremonial. They mean business. Originally formed in 1983, the Elite Squad is made up of 185 of some of the military's best officers, all trained by the Special Air Service. They provide the king with round-the-clock security, but to secure him even further, the king has special security guards who are with him at all times and even share specific secret messages with one another to alert him when danger may be present. Number 3. The Beast It's also known as the first car, or its codename Stagecoach. The Beast is the limo belonging to the President of the United States, whoever that may be at the time. This jet black limo is designed and built by Cadillac and allegedly cost around 16 million bucks. A new and improved version of the 2009 model, the Beast is fully armored and hermetically sealed against any possible attack. The exterior walls are 200 millimeters thick and the glass 130 millimeters thick and it has a 5 inch thick body which brings the vehicle's curb weight to about 9 tons. This vehicle really lives up to its name because the majority of the car is outfitted with military-grade armor capable of withstanding the largest bullets in production. And the doors are 8 inches thick and weigh the equivalent of the cabin door of a Boeing 757 jet. Literally, nothing's getting in here without the president's say-so. But the fun doesn't stop there because the beast's fuel tank is protected by an explosion prevention foam and can withstand a direct hit from an RPG and the Kevlar-reinforced tires can't be damaged by projectiles or blasts. The limo also has a secure environmental system that keeps everyone inside safe from chemicals and gas attacks, and it has a steady oxygen supply, plus it carries emergency blood banks filled with the president's blood type as well. And while this vehicle is well-equipped for defense, it does have some offensive capabilities, including pump-action shotguns, tear gas launchers, and night vision cameras. Plus, it even has an oil slick. Number 2. The White House Marauder's Map Somehow, round-the-clock security cameras and infrared sensors aren't enough, so the White House is full of carefully placed, very well-hidden pressure pads. Yep, there are sensors under the grass on the lawn to alert security of any unwanted visitors. But more importantly, they're all placed throughout the floors of the building itself. But is this so they can quickly detect burglars? Well, not so much. The floor sensors let security know where the president is at all times. If they were in the Oval Office, all they need to do is track those footsteps to see where he's going next. Think of it as the Marauder's map running for 24 hours a day. And if something goes wrong, chances are the folks in the security room are going to know about it a split second before even the president. But employing and monitoring these pressure pads is no easy task, because the White House is six stories tall and 55,000 square feet and houses hundreds of staff members. That's a lot of foot traffic every day, but seeing as how the president keeps to a strict schedule full of meetings, self-care, and the occasional hobby time, chances are that the monitors are able to keep a keen, highly trained eye on them at any given moment. Number 1. Tiger Squad The Saudi royal family is the richest in the world and loves to show off their absurd amount of money and power. And while having gold-plated toilets at home is kind of awesome, it certainly comes at the price of safety. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, holds multiple positions of political office and is known for having spent more than $20 billion on military equipment alone. He has a notoriously tight grip on both military and security, 
But aside from his highly skilled and highly paid personal security team, made up of both active service members and veterans alike, Solomon also has his very own paramilitary squad. Their official name translates to the Rapid Intervention Squad, but they're more commonly referred to as the Tiger Squad. These guys are no joke. The Tiger Squad is made of former military and intelligence agents, all of whom are at Salman's whim. Not only are they there to protect him, riding in convoys made of armored vehicles, but they carry out any local operations he feels are necessary to maintain his political and royal status, some of which aren't so nice. Officially formed in 2017, the Tiger Squad handles matters of intelligence to carry out specific and secretive missions, many of which are said to involve quieting political dissent. The less the media and the people of the world know about the Tiger Squad's movements, the better for them. The squad is no joke, and there are even rumors that they'll resort to poisoning targets, which could take them days, weeks, or months. The Tiger Squad. It's one scary group of guys, making Mohammed bin Salman one of the last people you should cross. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.